Hey friends, so surely you have heard the phrase that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. And while we well understand what that means, somehow we still end up doing the same things over and over at times. Is it because we're all insane? Or is it because change is hard and it usually forces us to go outside of our comfort zone? It's the latter, by the way. There are times in life where you find yourself at a crossroads, whether it be an opportunity that has presented itself or a situation you know you need to leave. Or hell, maybe you woke up one morning and you were just sick of BS, your own, someone else's, maybe both. And in, that, and in this place, you need to make a choice. Here's where separation needs to come in so you can go to the next level. So what do I mean by separation? I mean you have to leave behind the things that are holding you back. That includes people too. You have to let go of that which does not serve you or your growth. You have to finally learn those lessons. You know the ones, the ones that keep coming back over and over, perhaps with a different cast of characters or circumstances. And the biggest separation you need to have is undoubtedly separating the part of you that is standing directly in the way of where you want to be. This means shedding the bad habits that are keeping you from reaching goals. It means separating yourself from people who drain you or only bring you down versus encourage you. This means throwing away the excuse of, I don't have time for that, when you could have time if you stopped procrastinating or whatever else it is you're doing to waste time. You know, sometimes we see people out there who are absolutely killing it and living their dreams and we wonder, what have they got that we don't? Well, often the difference between you and them is not intelligence or talent or even time. It's self-confidence and it's discipline. And look, I'm not talking about anything that I don't personally know about here. I have certainly said, I can't, when the true answer was, I won't. I have kicked so many cans down the road for later that I lost count. I have been very guilty of being in the passenger seat of my own life many times. I have stubbornly clung to things I shouldn't because I didn't want to fail. I have bent over backwards trying to help people who didn't give a rat's ass about helping themselves. So believe me when I say that I understand how hard this is to put in practice. Listen, friends, you can't get out of a bad situation if you don't walk through the door and go. You won't rise to a new level in, in your career if you won't get on the proverbial ladder of success and climb up. You won't find the relationship you want if you stay in one you already know isn't working. You won't heal the things that haunt you if you won't confront them. You won't break cycles if you keep clinging to mistakes of the past. It's going to take discipline and some honest self-talk about why you do the things you do. It's going to take some removals of bad habits and of excuses. It's going to mean taking Gandhi's advice and not allowing people to walk through your mind with dirty feet. It's going to take courage to tell your fears to shut the F up. It's going to take believing a whole lot more in yourself than you probably do right now. That's all I've got for you this week. Chewy, anything? That's all she's got for you, too. She's right here. Anyway, I'll be back next week with a new priority message for you. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Bye.